Uh, hello, everybody, uh, and welcome to another Toon Kind Dad 12 frames per second. My name is RJ, uh, and I'm joined today by the fantastic and wonderful. <laughs> hello, my name is Wiss. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited for <laughs> this. This is going to be so much fun. <laughs> it's, it's going to be. It's gonna be a ride <laughs> for for at least one of these characters, probably both of them. Um, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> crying. Um, yeah. So mild mild angst warning. Um, probably it may go into medium. We'll see. Um, I'll have the the tags in the description, so just mind those. But it's gonna be discussions at most, not anything in depth. Anyway. Um, yeah. so, I think we set our scene, where would Corvitz be, do you think? Um, Is that about? <laughs> nope, he's going to be the same place where he has been, uh, for the last, probably about a week, which is, uh, face down on one of the beds. Um, he hasn't really moved so much since you brought him home, which is, uh, Unusual. You don't remember him being a big, heavy sleeper, but uh, there he is. I mean, he spent <laughs> the better part of two centuries uh, somewhere in some place. Yeah. So. Yeah. Can't exactly begrudge him that. <laughs> no. Um, is Jacques or Asclepius or Kara like keeping an eye on him, checking on him every every so often? Do you think? Yeah, um, uh, Escapes would come in a couple times a day to bring food and to, to make sure he's not died on them. Um, well, uh, he's definitely not died on them. He's still uh, still sleeping, obviously sleeping, like he snores a bit, but he has not woken up at any point over the last week. Um, so none of the food's been getting eaten. <laughs> mm, okay. Well, we are saying about it being there in case he does wake up. Mm. Um, and Kara is always watching. <laughs> They're always watching. Their brother's watching you. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, um, the thing that uh, Kara would, would notice over the course of the week and probably would report to uh, Jackson Asclepius is that while he was sleeping, um, his body start has do been doing some really weird things. It's not so much in the destabilization camp, but it's more in the that part of his arm sort of half gets erased and then there's a sketch that's drawn in and then it colours in and then like the model fills back out because he's housing um, uh, like Jacques is. But like each part of him sort of goes through this process of like, let's just readjust and make make it uh, make it work kind of thing. Uh, um, but it's sort of not done that for about a day now. Hmm. Well, you're right, Carl. We definitely would be reporting this along. Um, mm -mm -mm. The the consensus that the council comes to is 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 probably some form of redesign? Question mark. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So they're gonna they're gonna let it be unless it seems to be like harming him or until something changes. Something has changed because it stopped. So. Chuck's, Chuck's probably pokes his head in, just mm -hmm. to see if, if Corvitz is awake, and if he's not, he'll step a little bit further in, if he is, he'll wait and threshold. Like, yeah. Alright. Well, um, it, it has been, uh, a, a week, and then there, there's been no movement from him, really, but then this sort of is, uh, he sort of starts rolling around on the bed a little bit and grabbing at the front of his shirt, and uh, he kind of makes a little bit of a. <laughs> and he uh, sits up abruptly, clinging to the front of his shirt, and he's just sort of startled and sitting up and awake. Uh, the. <laughs> The the door like nudges wider as Jox goes to reach for it. Uh so he probably hears the tail end of that. Mm. Uh pokes his head around the door like uh <laughs> I me RJ, I'm drawing a blank on the comfort words, but he would know the comfort words, so <laughs> <laughs> um, something like 
I know. Um, yeah, COVID, uh, it's, it's all right. It's calm. Just take a deep breath. All yeah, right. Everything's all right. He, he takes a second to sort of react to that and he turns his head and looks up. Shots. I. Something's really wrong, but I can't. I can't feel her anymore and it's really freaking me out. I. What the. Are they okay? I. I. I everything's alright. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Comes into the room, closes the door, um, moves to, to to stand a bit closer. Uh, we suspected you might not have a, a connection anymore. It's sh- they're okay, you're okay, everyone's all right, no one's hurt. There were adaptations that needed to be made after your disappearance. I suspect your form here is is, is catching up now. I promise you everyone's all right. Okay, um... Gosh, I, uh... <laughs> that's not really how I was expecting to wake up. It's a... It's an odd... I feel like, you know, my whole life of being there and now I'm not. I... Uh, um... Hi. <laughs> Sorry, am I, uh... Um... Where am I, by the way? I, uh, you're in the manor. Uh, in one, in one of the, one of the bedrooms. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, why not take me back to Kindles? Is the, I mean, not that you know, <laughs> not I got a problem, but like, they probably. Oh gosh, are they okay? They'd be freaking out. Uh, I need to roll <laughs> deception. <laughs> God, you've got a fucking thing for this, don't you? Right, yeah. I don't know where is a 10. Rolls a 14. What the fuck is your deception? Okay, so that's a 29. <laughs> <laughs> 29. Uh, okay. 29. Cool, cool. Um... <laughs> I, I really love making sheets for, for characters like this. <laughs> there is is a chance that you could fail this, but we'll see. I'll, I'll roll I'll roll an insight. Why not? Let's, let's see what happens. I'll do it at disadvantage because he's only just woken up. Never mind! Two more one! Oh, that was a natural one! <laughs> Off to a great okay, start. Makes sense. It makes sense. It, okay. It, it does make sense. Um so he he's just sort of blink blink. Okay. He does not see the very complicated look that quickly flashes across Jack's face. Um To to the best of Jack's knowledge, Kindless hasn't come back as of yet, is that correct? Uh yeah, that's correct. <sighs> Kindless um vanished around the same time that you did. They've not reappeared as of yet. We are looking. Have been looking the entire time, but so far nothing. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, how, do you, how do you lose someone that big? They, they were huge. They... <laughs> well, it certainly was big. It certainly wasn't because we forgot the cherish that I'll tell you that. Um, <laughs> we suspect Kindless consciousness may have retreated someplace, perhaps to the valley or to um, an adjacent demiplane or something. We Genius loci, not exactly, uh, an extensively studied form of creature. No. Yes. No, I suppose not. Um, I don't... Uh... And he kind of gives his chest another little bit of a, a rub. I can't... Don't, I don't think they're dead. I think that, that I can figure that much, but apart from that, I... Oh boy. Um, 
you know, I was, it's funny, I was kind of hoping that it was sort of a, a weird dream. You know how you can have one weird dream and then the scene in your brain changes and it's a completely different weird dream? I was hoping that I was having like a, a series of those and when I woke up it will be back to normal, but it's, uh, it, 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 it isn't back to normal, is it? It's still this. I've still been... Uh, absent. I'm afraid so. Yes. Um, if you would like, uh, perhaps when we're feeling slightly stronger, we can see if there's any way to return Kara's connection back to you. I mean, if they want. We're by the place. <laughs> Hey, Rainful Place, yeah, gosh, um, shit, I don't, I don't even know where to start, I mean, 180 odd years, that's a long time, that's a really damn long time, where, where, where do we start, like, I mean, I, 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 who's been doing my, uh, job, it's not exactly the best job in the world, but, like, it, it, you, or someone else, yes, or... it was me, yes, Thanks, bud. Of course. <laughs> I'm sure the kingdom would be just fine with you around. Like, I mean, you're a hell of a lot smarter than I ever was. Oh, I wouldn't say that, necessarily. I mean, I would. Did. We'll do it again. That's what friends are for, <laughs> right? Very true. <laughs> the, the kingdom has, has weathered fairly well. Um, it was annexed, uh, about a hundred or so years ago. Um, Alex. Now part of the kids. Yes. Um, a line of rulers came about, started taking over the place. We complied so as to maintain relative sovereignty. But we are technically part of the Giznap kingdom, as opposed to being our own kingdom. Oh! Them? Really? I, uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, that's that's a surprise. If it was gonna be anyone, I would I would have guessed the those guys are over on the west coast. That that would have been more of a less less of a I mean would have been a surprise, but less of one. Okay, so what? We're just well, we're not a kingdom anymore at all. Mm, politically, no. In terms of relative power, yes, it's so complicated. Okay. I suppose you can think of us now as a sort of barony. Okay, that that works. I know what a barony is, so that's fine. Okay. Um. Mm. But they more or less leave us alone? Elsewise, yes. Like I said, we maintain relative sovereignty. Um, our board has shrunk slightly, but that was the only change. Oh. I mean, we were pretty dang big, so, uh, I mean, most of the, you know, most of the southern, uh, quarter was, was us, so, uh, if I'm remembering right, I, I don't think my memories are completely muddled, uh, I don't know. I have to recheck the old maps. <laughs> yeah, probably, have you still got them? Yes, um, a lot of the written records were lost, um, around that time, but I've maintained quite a few. Uh, I'll have to retrieve them from the basement. <laughs> that is, if Kara will let me. Oh, uh, why would they not? They've gotten into the habit of uh, changing the layouts around on people. On everyone, as a matter of fact. <laughs> as you get lost in your own house, huh? <laughs> Not so much. The basement, however, is its own beast. That <laughs> he, he makes a gesture like, oh boy. <laughs> Car territory, do not enter. <laughs> that sounds like them. Precisely. Uh, I'm glad one one of the floorboards kicks up proudly. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, that was movement. Ah, hello. Are you listening in? <laughs> There's like a sheepish wiggle to the bed. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. 
<laughs> this is uh, certainly a bit empty in this old grid cage of mine that uh, without you in there. Oh, birds. <laughs> I've got the window I open. see. <laughs> I see your affinity for Corvids hasn't changed much. <laughs> I mean, I hope not. Uh, it would be real awkward for me if I did. Uh, they're a bit, bit noisy, though. Hey, uh, we're having a conversation. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> huh, well. Uh, at any rate, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm glad some things haven't changed. It, uh, Dang, 180 odd years, that's a long time. Um, where to start? And he's kind of going to turn and look back at Jacques and then just sort of critically look Jacques up and down. Um, and I'm just going to roll him a perception. Sure. Uh, da -da -da. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> nice. Okay. He's so, seen. how is how does Jacques look? Um, <clears throat> relatively hale and hearty, uh, all things considered. But uh, your perceptive eye does notice uh, a few things. Um, for one, while Jacques is as swift witted as he ever was when you knew him last, um, and as seemingly as dexterous. When you look at his face as as he laughs, you can see tiny lines, like flaking paint almost, except it's not flaking paint, it's cracks in his clay that have healed over. Um, and you can spot uh, a, a relatively subtle brooch uh, on his lapel that he never wore before. Um, that you you can you can kind of you get the sense that that's magical, mm -hmm. uh, and the cane is definitely new. Um, and he leans on it with uh, the the ease of someone who's used a cane for a long, long time. And you can, as you're watching him, the door opens in in just the, in the background, and a, a stool is bounced in. Uh, to, to just behind him that he he sits down on uh, very casually like this is a practice motion. Mm -hmm. I uh, think I know where I'd like to start. Oh, what happened to you? <laughs> Roll inside again. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't roll another that one, please. Uh, not, not so much. And uh, unfortunately <laughs> for Jacques, um, uh, Gilfitz isn't little. If you, if you get good, that's fine. I can give you things with that. Just don't roll badly. For the love of God. Um, yeah, the only way that he was. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, gamer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, so um You you ask that question, uh, and almost immediately all of the humor that was in Jacques' expression and voice just oof, vanishes, evaporates like like steam on a candle flame. Um There's a an almost pained look, but it's not like a physical pain. It's this kind of, ooh, this is something that I didn't think we'd be getting into this soon, <laughs> but we're getting into it now, I guess. All right. Uh, and he goes, before I say, I need you to promise that you don't blame yourself. This is not your fault. Oh, that is such an unencouraging thing to ask me to promise. Oh, I've got so many I'm concerns. Aware, but I'm aware, but and I would like to preface this by reminding everyone that I am fine. 
<laughs> points at you, looks up at the ceiling. <laughs> He's gonna look at the ceiling and then look back at Jacques. I'll, I'll do my best. Um, I have a feeling that it's gonna be a hard, hard uh, thing to do, but I will try. Very well then, um, when you vanished, Kara needed another anchor, and I was the closest thing, but, uh, I wasn't exactly made to, uh, to withstand that. It almost killed me, and it did permanent damage in my form. Lynn, the, the monkey from, uh, from when we rescued you, found this, and he taps the brooch, uh, which uh, offsets most of the, uh, well, all, actually, of the physical repercussions. And the rest I've just grown to live with. Oh, boy. Okay, yep, I can see why you wanted to pre- Holy shit. Oh, I am so sorry. Uh, Not your fault. Not your fault either, Kara. I'm fine. Thank uh, you, yeah, but... Oh, uh, I know. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. And he just sort of grabs onto his head like he's trying so hard to just not freak out because holy shit, that's that's some news. He's just like, oh boy, let's let's keep keep the panic in in my pumpkin head. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so I right, so it wasn't just a when I vanished that just Kara couldn't find me anymore. It was uh, like I exploded and. <laughs> Oh, I am so sorry to you both. I don't even know what I did, but I am so sorry to you both. If you don't know what you did, then it likely wasn't your fault. Uh, what was it? What was it? It was a... That was the guy attacking the border? I remember that. I definitely remember that. And I remember I went to try and... Stop him because like I'm not gonna put other people at risk, am I? Ah, uh, heck, man, just as, just as well, I guess. Gods. Okay, so I obviously didn't win. I think I think that's the upshot of that. Um, jeez. Um. Hmm. But okay, you're you're okay. You are whole. I'm, I am fine. And I'm still I'm a little 180 fragile. Years old, so that's good. Fragile. Yes, I'm yeah. a little bit more oh. fragile than than most, but the bro the brooch, as I said, offsets that. Good, good. Let's let's find you like four more of those because. Please. <laughs> oh, um. Okay. Well. Uh. Yeah. That sure is a. Hmm. Place to start, I guess. Uh, huh. Alright, so. I don't know, I'll write that log. Lost to whatever that was, and. Uh, nearly killed my best friend. Cool. Good. Great. I'm glad for that. Huh. Ah. And he just sort of starts doing this. Nope, I'm calm. Nope, I'm calm. Kind of breathing. I mean, if we're going to blame anyone for all of this, let's blame the person who was attacking our borders. Yes, please? I mean, yes. Absolutely. About 99% of the fault is there. I mean, I could have tried winning. I could have tried winning. 100, 100, 100 percent of the fault. <laughs> you would have done the best that you could. Yeah, I know. But I went out there to protect people, and I obviously fucked that up. Well, um, I wouldn't say that. You didn't hear of any more border skirmishes after you left. Oh. I wonder why that is. Hmm. Still, if it's not come back to bite us in the ass after this long, well, I'll touch wood. I'll bear some wood. Uh, there. <laughs> Quickly touches the side of the bed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just lean over, bap, bap. 
And uh, hopefully it's not going to come back to bite us anytime soon. Uh, so uh, there's that. <laughs> yeah, let's put a positive spin on it. Yes, we'll do our best. I will be processing that for a bit. Oh. Well, after that, things were relatively stable. Um, the next big event was getting annexed, as I mentioned. Uh, after that, not much happened. We... Um, Expanded our population, if not our borders. Um, <clears throat> we've started, well, I say started, in about 150 years ago, I think. Uh, we got into the, into the uh, habit of forming land ownership contracts with various groups. Vampires, woodwards, werewolves, the like. Oh, okay. They, they rent land from us, and in turn they provide us with resources, materials, funds. Ah. It's actually become part of our main exports now. The various monster parts, which is always a good thing. In exchange, we provide them with protection. Oh, I like that. That's, that's smart. See, I told you you were smarter than me. <laughs> I'm sure you could have come up with the same. Could have. Would have? Different. Very different. But no, that's cool. Vampires and stuff. Neat, 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 neat. I mean, we already had people like that in town, like here in the capital, so I'm assuming we're still in the capital. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Okay, great. Wonderful. Um, yeah, I mean, we have people like that all the time. It's <laughs> just part of, part of what we were, where we are. So that seems like a logical, uh, Extension of that? Hey, good work. I'm proud of you, bud. <laughs> he smiles uh, a little bashfully. <laughs> no, what's that look for? You, you've you stepped in when I got my ass blown up or whatever, and you did a good job. Of course I'm going to peck and praise you. And bloody everybody else better. <laughs> Believe me, uh, people have indeed praised my, my smart decisions. Okay, good. I'm glad. Wonderful. Okay. Um, gosh. <laughs> well, I'm not going to make you sit there and tell me every, you know, every week for 180 years. Uh, how about just the big stuff? So, okay, we got annexed. Great. Not great, but we could deal with that. Mm, anything else to no, or has it just sort of been day to day? I mean, plot will do what plot will do, I guess, but... There were um, a couple major things. Uh, my husband, um, <laughs> I think you saw him briefly. I don't know if he's... if you were awake after that, but... <laughs> Why, no, husband, uh, I think you va you mentioned them. You mentioned them when, when you hauled my ass out of wherever it was. No, I haven't seen him. How the heck did that happen? When the heck did that happen? Think, uh, well, we first met about 150 years ago, actually. Um, he, he came to Ironquo on pilgrimage uh, from essentially the other side of the map. <laughs> came to Ironquo? Well, 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 yes. well, so is this a, a foreign tune or is this a real kind here? He's a real kind. His name is Asclepius. He's a furball. Oh, cool. Alright. I don't think I've met one of them before. He came, huh. he came to Ivo on pilgrimage, decided he liked it here and stayed. And we eventually fell in love and got married. Oh, good. Good for you. Good for you both. Yeah, I don't think I've met a fair boat before. Have met real kind. Uh, but no, 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 not that particular sort. We didn't really get them that much. From memory. Well... Uh, that has definitely changed. Uh, Halloween Town, with all the monsters that we lease to, uh, has one of the highest percentage of real kind populations in the entirety of Ironquell. So. Oh wow! Ha. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm I'm sure I will get to know plenty of real kind then. Uh, hmm. How to make first impressions? I haven't had to do that in a while. Oh. <laughs> Just be yourself. If they live here, then they'll be used to it. Okay, that's that's encouraging. I like that. <laughs> Good. Okay. 
Wonderful. All right, well, I, 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 you're going to have to introduce me once I can stand up, which I'm hoping will be, you know, in the next five minutes or so. Because uh, I'm sure well, as I couldn't do it before. <laughs> don't rush it. Worst comes to worst car, I can bring Asclepius here. He is a healer and has been your primary care for since you came back. <clears throat> oh. Huh. Well, hopefully I haven't been too uh, complicated. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Well, um... Hmm. Oh, um, yeah. What else? Uh... Oh, um... About 50 years ago or so, uh, we changed the rule instructor slightly. Rather than it just being all one person, Ascathy suggested introducing a council to take care of different departments within the city. So, the council now sits six. Oh. Okay. Damn, that would have been so much easier. Okay. <laughs> so you're, you're going to have to introduce me to them, too. Uh, gosh. I, uh, I just had this thought. I, 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 maybe a silly thought. It might be just a, hey, you've only just woken up kind of thought. But, uh, you guys all have this, uh, this system that kind of works. I don't really want to put my foot in it, like, you probably don't need me to do my old job. What am I going to do with myself? Hmm. <laughs> Sharks looks torn. Sharks looks really, really torn. Like, he wants to leap to your defense, but also knows that what you're saying has merit. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I it's it's not business as usual. Oh crowd. Now what? Oh dear. <clears throat> well, um things likely can't turn return to the way they used to, no, but we will find a place for you here if you want. I mean I wouldn't wouldn't want to go anywhere else. I mean, like, I've lived in Halloween Town my whole life. I want to continue to do that. That's it's home. It might be a bit different now after over a hundred years, too. So, but that's be expected. You know, after that long, even if I hadn't, did it change over time? I suppose it just feels a little sudden. <laughs> I'm in. Yes, I suppose it would. <laughs> It's a strange thing to have. I gotta ask, how did you find me? <sighs> there, <clears throat> we have been receiving reports of... <clears throat> he pauses for a moment trying to find the right words and then just kind of shrugs helplessly and goes, for lack of a better term, Halloween storms? Uh, they'd been slowly traversing across Ironquell down toward Halloween Town. Um, obviously, people had assumed it was our doing. It was not, so we decided to check things out when they got close enough to the borders. Um, Gibbs and Lynn both agreed to come with me, and we stepped on in to the vortex that had formed, um, traversed it, and eventually came across you. Hmm. It's, it's weird, because, I mean, I, I I don't remember sort of seeing you, but it's it's kind of fuzzy. Like, you know when you have a dream and you think back on it and you remember one tiny little detail and everything else is, eh? It's kind of like that. I, I remember, I don't know, feeling kind of homesick, I guess? But then, and then I remember seeing you, and I was still kind of, I knew that there was still somebody I had to kick the butt off, and you know, I was like, yep, I was going off to war, and then you were there, and I'm like, hold on, you were not there, why are you here? And then, then we were in the middle of the, um, freaking nowhere, and, uh, yeah. Hmm. 
When we found you, there was a, a gem within your chest, the, the same color as the wax that was covering your eyes and your mouth. Perhaps that had something to do with it. He, he grabs at his, at his eye sockets and just sort of, like, looks at his fingers after rubbing it. It's like, wax? Question mark. Uh, <laughs> Shucks will, uh, will, will wave a hand, cast prestigitation to summon a small image of what he means. Okay. But that I do not remember. I, I have no recollection of that. I mean... It's the right color, actually. The right color? When I went out there to face the guy going at the border, I I don't really remember him. Sort of, maybe round, I guess? Sort of? I'm not sure. A tune, I think. But then there was this, this sort of, Flash. It was kind of green, kind of blue, kind of uh, that, that color. And it was that. I mean, it was just a sort of flash, and then, then waking up to you guys. I've heard of spells that can imprison people, but uh, even within gems, but never. Hmm. I mean, damn it, that looks like some kind of real kind of shit as well. Like, I mean, there's, there's, you know, tune stuff, and then there's tunes like, gosh, you know, it's like slightly different. But like, no, that, 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 that gives me real kind vibes, and I'm, I'm not sure I'm there for that. Hmm. Damn, I really hope that they are going. <laughs> I hate the thing to do it and they come after you. Oh. Well, they didn't, but... Well, I don't think they did, at the very least. I... Nothing came at us in that time. The next threat was the annexation. We were able to navigate that just fine. <clears throat> The only other, well, the previous major threat was he he pauses, um, looking pensive. You okay, bud? For a time, Escapius and I had found a third. And his name was Sabogard. And <laughs> to this day, I'm still not sure what we did wrong. Whether we did not show him that we loved him enough, or we did something to upset him, or something else. But he attempted a coup. He oh. killed Asclepius. Uh, I was able to bring him back, but it made him part two in the process. Oh, that's that's some heavy shit. I'm sorry. Oh, damn. It gets worse, I'm afraid. Oh, good, great. Uh, well, all right, the, the love of your life murdered by the other love of your life. How did that get worse? Well, we, well, I brought Asclepius back with Kara's help. Um, we defeated Sabogat, banished him, and he came back, um, a, a couple of years ago now, actually, um, poisoned me, tried to take over, but he was stopped by Lin and by <sighs> her son, and by a, a couple others, and he will cast, uh, he, he'll he'll cast um, prestigitation again to to show an image of the corn cob gang. 
Cohen Cobes beloved. Um, Cohen Cobes beloved. <laughs> Um, he'll he'll look at uh, look at that and sort of put a hand to his chin and look at them very closely. They saved you. <laughs> so uh, so Lynn, that the monkey tune there, I owe her double then, don't I? Saving me once, saving you once. <laughs> I think she would say you don't know her at all, but. In truth, the town does know her quite a lot. Well, uh, <laughs> she better look out, because you got one uh, grateful pumpkin coming at her soon. <laughs> Surely sure she can't be hard to track down. I'm sure I can find her. I'm sure you got the address somewhere we can mail. Uh, yes, actually. Sage, we recently moved Sagehound's Requiem from Toontown to Halloween Town, so just ask Card to take you there. Oh, perfect! I will drop by at some point. Neat. Splendid. Nice and close. <laughs> Not sure I'm up for going outside of town for a while. That's fine. We can we can work our way up to that. If uh, if town's really different, gosh, the rest of the continents probably. Feels like a different planet. Uh, okay. It might. Um, I wouldn't recommend yet straying too far outside of Halloween Town's borders, just until we know the full extent of any damages that might have occurred. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, definitely uh, a thing. <laughs> I wonder if that was my doing. But I guess we'll figure it out, or at least uh, hopefully people will forget about it after Halloween and it'll all be good. What, what time of year is it actually? It was about Halloween when we rescued you. It's now midway through November ish. Oh, dang. That's. That was a long nap. I don't normally sleep that long. Ah. Wow. I think ordinarily you'd medically classify it as a coma, but I've never heard anyone in a coma snore, so. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I've always been contrary, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Well. Okay. Definitely want to have a chat to your, uh, to your Asc Ascl Asclepius? Yes. All right. Yeah. He's, uh, he sounds like a, like a fun guy. And, uh, yeah, he sounds like he makes you happy. He does. <laughs> Allow me a, a, a moment of, of cliche, but I, I think he's the best thing to ever happen to me. No, no, that's great. You know, you, even when we were batching it, that's great, but, you know, we're adults, and if it makes you happy, awesome. And he gives two, like, double thumbs up. <laughs> but it's, it's not, it's not, like, condescending or anything, it's absolutely genuine, and he's got this big, yeah. big genuine grin on his face. <laughs> you can tell if Jacques had any method to, he'd be blushing right now. <laughs> right. All right. So, uh, what's the status of this guy now? By the way, the uh, blogger guy. Oh, yeah, you cut out in middle lessons. Uh, what's the status of that uh, blogger guy? By the way. Uh, he is dead now. After his last attempt at a coup, it was deemed too dangerous. And he'd already done so much damage, so... Man, I don't blame you for that. If he wasn't, he was going to be. So, uh, you know. <laughs> Listen, nobody messes with my friends. I don't know if I have anything to say about it. In that we are of one mind. Hmm. 
I suppose it's probably a little bit late to, uh, give Asclepius a shovel talk, so, um, maybe I could just poke him with a trowel. But I think he's probably done right by you so far, so I think he's probably <laughs> safe. <laughs> well, he certainly kept me alive. Uh, and in very good health. As much as he could. Excellent. I'm glad. So if you truly want to poke him with a trowel, I'll show you where the garden shed is. Oh, yes, please. I, I do actually feel like I should probably stand up if I've been in a quote-unquote coma for a week. <sighs> All right. Let's see if these old bones work. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. He's going to he's going to stand up uh, and uh, offer an arm for you to brace on. Um, <laughs> so you can you can haul yourself up using him, and he'll counterbalance onto his cane if he needs to. Okay. Uh, but he, he, good day today for him. So mm -hmm. I'm just gonna make this a straight strength roll just to see how he's doing. Oh yeah, he's fine. That's yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, that's no problems at at all. It's a twenty-two. So. Hell yeah, game. All good. So he's just maybe braces just a little bit just to keep his balance a bit, and then he'll let go, and look around, and he's not falling over. All right, we're upright. Upright is a good start. Carry Stretch my wings, but I think that might need to wait at least a day. Okay, uh, so do you wanna, uh, hobble with me down the hallway? Maybe you could introduce me to your husband. No, I mean, it feels like you're in <laughs> introducing your dad. Your <laughs> strange dad or some shit. <laughs> dad, that's weird. Something like that. We're the same Something age. Like what the hell? <laughs> A particularly stubborn older sibling, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's probably pretty correct. I mean, I am pretty damn stubborn. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's, that's old news. Hey. Mind you, you were pretty stubborn, too. You, you could be really stubborn. Well, well, I was going to bat against the king of stubbornness himself. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough job wearing more than one crown, eh? <laughs> but you wear them so gracefully. Oh yes, the uh, uh, the absolute picture of of grace. <laughs> yeah. He is beauty. He is grace. He will not fall on his face. I will do my best. Ah. Well, I think it's a good thing the mezzanine has a guardrail. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think that is probably good. Um, I'm 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 keen to meet. Meet your new council and your, your husband and track down those other two and say hi and thank you again and uh, and all that. That's gosh. I'm... Let's let's take things one at a time. Oh uh, yeah, I you have it. only been away for the better part of an hour. Yeah, I suppose given as I'm a uh, uh, gainfully unemployed now, I've had time to just sort of take it easy. Wow, that's a weird thought. Hmm. Free time, what the hell is that? Oh. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't know. Yeah, you probably uh, should take it easy too. But I guess <laughs> that's why you got five other people to help you now, hey? Yeah. He, he he just shrugs slightly, uh, and will will lead uh, Kovitz out onto the mezzanine, down onto the ground floor, uh, and toward the garden. Wonderful. Uh, I don't think Kovitz has any any problems uh, walking uh, at all. Like he, he's slow to start with, oh, but no. then he kind of gets back into the groove. It's like, oh yeah, limbs. I you can limbs. say he figures out his stride. <laughs> yes, yes, he does. He absolutely does. But he's sort of looking around and taking everything in and going, oh yeah, oh yeah, this, 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 some of this rings bells, that's good. <laughs> well, uh, the garden itself is like 
not new, but it was kind of always there. But the the layout is definitely different, uh, along with uh, all of the <laughs> very clearly demarcated as poisonous plants <laughs> and venomous <laughs> plants and carnivorous plants. Uh, <laughs> and also the really, really tall Firbolg. Oh, well, really, really tall if you are anyone other than Corvitz. <laughs> yes. I forgot to turn the voice mod off. Yes, as, yes, <laughs> he is quite tall. Um, yeah, he's just going to give a, an appreciative whistle and uh, look over at, uh, at like all the plants and nodding and then look over at Asclepius. I'm taking it that this is your doing then. Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah, it is. Hi. It's good to see you up and about. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, hopefully, uh, being in a quote-unquote coma, I was a pretty easy patient, huh? Hmm. Well, I've definitely had worse. <laughs> <laughs> gives a gives a, a, a slight eye at Jacques, who is just who like playfully pouts uh, as the Scopius walks over. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, thank you. By the way, uh, and my name's uh, Corvus All Hallows. Nice to meet you, proper. And he sticks a hand out to shake. Edge. Uh, uh, Asclepius will, will shake the hand and go, Asclepius Ash, it's good to meet you here. Gotta say, the, uh, the old, uh, magic patch looks a little bit different. Yeah, I, I grow a lot of my own tea and a lot of other things as well. If you're going uh, to treat a poison, it's usually beneficial to know what you've been poisoned with. That makes sense. Yeah, I can see that. Um, so, uh, Jacques said that you came to ink while on pilgrimage. Yeah. Is there more to that, or what? Like, I mean, I'm not sure what makes someone go to pilgrimage. Is just for, I'm bored, let's go for a walk. Kind of thing. <laughs> uh, he kind of shrugs slightly and just goes, I felt it was time to leave. So I did. And when I came here, I thought it was time to stay. Wow, it seems like it was a good thing, too. And, uh... I'm, I'm grateful for you looking after Yacht while I wasn't around. Of course. He just says it matter-of-factly like there was, like... Like, he would have done anything else. Of course not. <laughs> hey, I know that tone. I'm allowed to be grateful, okay? <laughs> but, uh, Jax has filled me in on uh, a fair bit. Uh, uh, well, on some big things, not on the day-to-day -day or anything. Uh, so, um... But I, I'm hoping <laughs> that I'm here to stay this time, so... Uh, hopefully I'm not some annoying third wheel or anything. Is that is that how that phrase works? I am going to be an annoying oh. house guest <laughs> for the time being. I apologize for the intrusion in your house. This is your house, too. There's a, there's a, there's a flick... From from one of the um, one of the chairs in agreeance. It's not in my house for over a hundred years, so you know I I, th I think I've lost any claim to the house. What of you to assume the house lost any claim to you? Um, you know what? The, the house ain't inside my ribcage no more. So. Um, I, I, what if I want to, I want to run away and live in Ghibli. How about that? I'll do that. Ha! You gonna come and catch me, Car? You gonna chase me to Ghibli? And he'll give these, like, little teasing little paps of his feet against the floor. They wouldn't, but I would. And so would Ava, and you do not want to be chased by Ava. Particularly if you are made of bone. Ava. 
Uh, Ava is our head of defense. Uh, she is a housing werewolf. Ooh. Right. Yes. Wolf. Bones. Mm, yeah. Good point. I don't know. Can they fly? I'm pretty sure I can still do that. Well, you could, but then you'd have to come back to us eventually, and we'd all be upset. Well, yeah, that's that's a good point. Absolutely couldn't, could not, uh, could not have that. That is not allowed. Not, not anymore. <laughs> well, uh, seeing as you're down here, would you like some tea? I'm just about to brew another pot. Oh, sure. Uh, I could go for uh, the beverage of uh, whatever variety if you are making one. Sounds good to me. He will gesture for Corvitz to take a seat on the uh, one of the chairs by the small, you know, like the like the the iron wrought iron style chairs and tables oh, yeah. that you find in like garden centers to put in a, a, put on a patio or something like that. Like that. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Except vastly more comfortable than those tend to be. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Yes, I think I own a set of those. Um, yeah, he will. He'll look at the um, at the at the chairs and table set, and the, he'll uh, there'll be this this sort of noise that sounds like when a bird has just made its its wings just go flutter 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 a little bit, uh, and then he'll sort of plod over and and he'll he'll sit down in it in probably the least elegant way that he could, like it's half falling down kind of thing, but it's also somehow really elegant at the same time. It's like, 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 um... Artfully tozzled, but falling. Yeah, um, I'm thinking of a bit in Nightmare Before Christmas, like when he's, um, just before he decides to take over Christmas, and he does that thing where he sort of flops oh, onto yeah, the bottom yeah, step yeah. of his of his la- um, library ladder, kind of like yeah. that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> nice. The good news is the chairs are also big enough for him to sit on without yes. having to perch. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> cool. Uh, Escobar sends over to a a small. Um, it's it's like a little pizza oven almost, except it's if you cut the top of the pizza oven off, so it's just this kind of like round clay thing with a little fireplace. Mm-hmm. In it, um, sticks a, a a kettle onto the onto the stove top there. Um, puts in some some leaves from a, a a small pot next to it and starts boiling. So, uh, what made you grow tea? I wouldn't have thought it would really grow in this kind of area. It just shrugs. I like tea. I mean, growing it at home sure is cheaper than importing it. True. Plus, it allowed me to double a bit. I have grown quite a few different plants in my time, particularly flowering plants for graves. I like branching out. Okay. I mean, uh, we had some flowering plants. Yeah, you know, not. Nothing like, you know, blue or pink or whatever, but, you know, plants. We had plants, didn't we, Josh? We had some plants. We the did. Plants, plants no, are still I, a thing. <laughs> I, I'm not sure either of us ever really had a green thumb. Mm-hmm. And I don't have any color thumbs, mine a bone. But... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm the same. I just I just wear gloves. Uh, I mean, I am a plant. What am I talking about? Of course we have plants. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, but yes. I'll shush you. <laughs> Jax takes a, a seat next to him, um, and as Steffi follows along shortly with the, the kettle and some cups, pours everyone a, a, a cup of tea. Corvitz will, uh, will pick up the cup and he'll sort of Sip at it and um, nod. No, oh, this is this is actually really good. I, I actually quite like this. Good to know about the seal of the crew. Why is it called a um, a, a royal warrant? I think we used to have those. We put a stamp on it and called it good. Yeah. 
<laughs> would you like a royal warrant for your tea, Escapees? I wouldn't mind one, no. I'm a little bit surprised it's taking you this long to offer. <laughs> okay, hold on. I think I might have a stamp in my hammer space. Hold on. I'm gonna roll him a detail. <laughs> Please fumble. Please fumble. I'm gonna roll it twice because I was a nine. That's not fun. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> roll your hammer space at disadvantage and we get what we want. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alrighty. Um, let me see. Good thing I made you a chart. <laughs> What's that? Oh! <laughs> Wonderful. Alright. So he's going to. Um, Reach into in his hammer space and he's gonna pull out um a plastic bag that kind of had like marshmallows in it. It's empty though. It's just got some powdered sugar in the bottom, and he just sort of looks at it forlornly and like holds it upside down and tips it out. And there's just powdered sugar that falls out. That is not a stamp. That's actually quite depressing. <laughs> Scorpius is chuckling. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I got, I got, I got this. I mean, I, I've still got stuff. So come on, come on. That's not high enough. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, so he reaches in again, he pulls out another marshmallow bag, but this one is actually full of marshmallows, and he's like, just crack, pulls it open, and immediately shoves some marshmallows in his mouth. Okay, that, that was, uh, less depressing, still not a stamp, come on, I'm sure I got something in there somewhere, oh gosh, um, right. Okay, that one is a seven. <laughs> pull, out, pull out a wax stamp um, thing. Uh, and he'll... Um, it's got like a, a jack-o'-lantern on it. And he, he's not going to get any wax out. He's just going to reach over and go, dunk, on the side of the kettle. <laughs> it just makes this little <laughs> tink noise. Both, both J and A giggle at that a little bit. <laughs> there you go. Um, and I've had some sugar now. Um, yeah, seal of approval. Tink, good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using that a lot. I'm just gonna stab you with my stamp. Just <laughs> <laughs> start jabbing Jacques with it. Ah, hey. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta roll the detail for sharks. <laughs> oh, it's a two. Just barely. Pulls out his own stamp and starts stamp to stamp warfare. <laughs> like they're probably fencing with them now. <laughs> yes! <laughs> is in his 20s again. <laughs> Gosh. God. <laughs> hmm. Cool. Chill, Zed. <laughs> oh man, I almost feel like unless there was anything we wanted them to talk about more, that would be a really good place for the fate to black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, scars. Okay. <laughs> God. Okay. <laughs> Jacques, Jacques begins stamp to stamp warfare. Um, <laughs> Scuffy just watches bemusedly, uh, slowly sipping at his tea. 
uh, for a couple minutes and then just gently knocks on the table like the tea is getting cold. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, truce? Truce, yes. <laughs> All right, good. Let's, uh, wouldn't want this, um, highly, highly qual, uh, what is it? High quality tea to go to waste, yes. Uh, and he'll be he would not. Start drinking his tea, but he's he's grinning real wide. So is Jacques, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> it's so good. Does 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 Corbett look over at at Asclepius? Oh yeah, he probably will. We'll just sort of sip yeah. his tea and look at look at both of them and. Jacques, Jacques is, is grinning into his cup, but Asclepius is looking at Jacques with the most fond, besotted, in love look you've ever seen. Like, my partner is being ridiculous, but I can't help but find them adorable, style. No. Um, if either of them want to roll inside on Corvettes, they can. Uh, yes. Ooh. Okay. All right. <clears throat> it is Okay. Uh. Nice. Yep. Uh, another one is almost as good. Uh. Nice. Very good. Um, all right. Um, both of them can kind of see, like, Corvitz was grinning because I'm being silly with my best friend. This is so familiar and nice. I'm so glad this hasn't changed. But then when he notices that look from Asclepius, he's still grinning. Um, but it shifts a little bit to, I'm so glad that it's all turned out so well. Um, there's still a little bit of oh man, I really fucked up kind of thing in the back there, but more at the for the most part, he's just, I am so glad that even in spite of all that, Jux is well and loved and happy and that's just, that's just great. That's the best outcome. And he doesn't say anything, but he'll just sit, sip, sip his tea and he's at least satisfied with that. The the husbands share a quick glance uh, and have an entire conversation in that glance, as <laughs> as you do with someone who knows you that well. Um, <clears throat> and 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 sort of like to drink the, to drink their tea as well. Um, oh man, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> All of the bits. Oh man. Well, I don't. I don't have anything else. What about you? I uh, no. I don't either. Uh, we got sillies. We got socks. We got reveals of lore. <laughs> We've got it all here, folks. Um, all right. Hell yeah. Well, uh, I suppose we should say our goodbyes and uh, and and wrap up our recording for the for the night. Yeah. Thank, thank you, thank everybody, you for listening. For listening, uh, everyone in the chat right now, and everyone listening on YouTube later. And we'll see what the next thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't stop. Won't stop. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Oh, and we'll bye, everybody. Bye.